Hey everybody, it's Joe N3HEE here with a uh, little demonstration of a new speaker that I'm working on for CW or Morse code, specifically for that range, that, that frequency range. Um, as you can see, I'm using a red solo cup with one of the Dayton Audio sound exciters attached to the back of it. This device is essentially a magnet and a voice coil, but without the speaker. As you can see, there's a uh, double-sided sticky tape there that we're sticking onto the back of the cup. And the cup, right now we just have it taped on the back of the cup with a speaker wire that goes to the K3 and then a uh, piece of copper wire that's epoxy to the back of the cup to act as a stand. This, this speaker is roughly resonant at about 700 Hertz and uh, it doesn't pick up much other than the uh, CW signal itself. The background noise as you can hear is very quiet and when you tune across the signal, the signal pops out immediately. Sort of acts like an audio peaking filter. So we can take weak signals and uh, through the reduction of the background noise and uh, the, uh, the uh, frequency response of the speaker, we can really make uh, signals uh, pop out. Um, I'll just tune across some of these here. We're listening to 40 meters right now. And find some more signals to listen to. Not much on the band right now. It's a pretty weak signal there, but it pops right out and it can be heard. So what I'll do is I'll unplug the uh, speaker, I'll let you listen to the K3 speaker. Okay, that's the same signal. The K3, you notice that the background noise comes up dramatically. There's the other station he's talking to. I'll plug the speaker back in again. Background noise goes away. And when we peek him up in the speaker, he really comes out strong. So it's a nice way to have a, uh, a filter, if you will, for uh, CW. I'll post the notes on these uh, sound exciters uh, in the uh, bottom of the uh, in the notes field. And if you want to build one, it's very simple. It's just a uh, piece of wire and a jack and uh, a red solo cup and one of the uh, exciters. That is the 13 millimeter exciter on the back of this cup and uh, something that acts as a base a piece of copper wire that's number 14 copper wire and that's all it is so uh, have some fun with it and play around and uh, you can uh, develop a pretty neat little uh, speaker that's uh, especially for CW reception this is certainly not a new concept. There's been uh, a lot of other designs over the years that uh, have dealt with uh, tuned speakers for CW, but uh, I ran across these sound exciters and uh, thought that I would give this a try, and it certainly works out well. Uh, so thanks for watching, and uh, we'll uh, talk to you later. N3HEE73.